Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. Today I'm going to open some more ponies. This is the Crystal Games, the third pony set. So this is one of the sets that still uses foils rather than super rares. So you know what, let's just get straight into it. We're probably going to open out nine foils from the box. They're usually about one in every four packs and I cannot get this cellophane off. So there are 50 foils in the set, uh, only 46 that we would be able to pull from the boosters. Um, numbers one through four are deck exclusive foils. Um, I do have one copy of the two decks somewhere, but I will open those at a later date. Probably not on camera since, you know, fixed products aren't as interesting. And we're looking for ultra rares. I think we should get around three to four ultra rares per box. And there are, I think, 15 regular ultra rares and then one secret rare ultra rare. All right, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And also the ultra rares are the only main characters that we could get in the box. So the, uh, the double faced cards that you need to play the game because the only ones that they have, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit more. The only ones that they have in the set are ultra rares or fixed to the decks. So get our commons first those out the way and then we have our first rare which is tug of war and then we have our uncommons call to action a hydra that's kind of cool oh yeah and twilight sparkle breezified so i don't know if there's like a particular ultra rare or anything we should be looking for i think it's just going to be let's see what we get i don't have much of the crystal games currently uh, well, I have a lot of sealed product, but I don't have much of it opened. I haven't done a binder for it yet. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how it goes. Oops. Next rare is Doctor's Orders. And then we have our first foil, which is True Evil. Ooh. Looks kind of cool. So I believe most of the foils that are in the set are copies of cards from the set. In fact, I know, I think they all are. I think that's how this works. I think all of the foils are just regular cards from the set in a foil version. I don't think there are any foil exclusives. Okay. I know there are some promo exclusives. That may have been what I was thinking of when I started that sentence. I think I like that pony. Sweetie Belle? Yeah. I think she was in one of the other boxes or one of the other sets we've opened. Yeah. As was uh, Maud Pie. Ooh, and our first ultra rare. This is a backup racer substitute flyer. I think this is the like derpy pony that a yeah. lot of people like. So that's cool. It's our first ultra rare. So I think uh, the derpy pony is promo number one for this set um, as a mailman, but there's like six or seven different versions of the promo. Oh. Because it was at lots of different conventions and had different versions. It's it's a whole thing. All right, we have now got a uh, multi goof off. Okay. Oh, and another foil. It's a Coco Pum Pommel refurbisher. Okay. Doing pretty good so far. Yeah. But I said we should be on about nine foils. I think we should be on exactly nine foils for the box because it's the foils, I think, are one in every four packs. And then the ultra rares, I think, come in about one in every 10 okay. or one in every 11 packs. So I think it's you guaranteed at least three. If you're lucky, you get four. Is that a dog? That's a dog. Aww. I'm recognizing a lot of these cards. I might have opened more crystal games than I actually thought I had. Our next rare is a tight ship meticulous planner. I will have to uh, check at some point and see if I already have a binder going for this one before I go ahead and make another binder for it. Yeah. Because that would be bad. There's a bunny rabbit. Oh, he's angry. Uh, yoink is our rare. Uh, yoink. Yoink. So I did also find out recently that uh, the first set of ponies has quite a few different print runs. And at least, uh, every card has at least two versions, with some cards having as many as six versions, so 
that's something I need to look into a bit more and separate out my binders a bit, which is irritating. Yeah, that's too many versions. Oh, well, we got a rare of Rainbow Dash Relay Racer, and we got the Secret Ultra Rare. Ooh. This is Princess Twilight Sparkle, Princess of Friendship, uh, with number double zero. That's beautiful. That's very cool. So yeah, because this game doesn't have, you know, s total set numbers, like when you would see on Pokemon or something, it would be number one out of however many. Mm -hmm. Putting a secret rare, putting another ultra rare at the end just makes it another ultra rare, because that's where all the ultra rares are anyway. So in order to make it secret, they put it as double zero, which that's is very so cool. cool. Obviously in a Absolute Discord, which we opened a box of recently as well. well. I say recently, it was a little while back. But they do them as negative one, negative two, and negative three for these secrets. Which is kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, we have Biff as our uh, a Troublemaker card. Isn't that that guy's name in Back to the Future? That is that guy's name in Back to the Future, yes. Well done. I wonder if that's why they named him that. Potentially, I'm not sure. Uh, we've got a poetry slam as our rare. Uh... Oh. I'm unsure of the context of any of the characters having never seen the show, so. I know that I think there was people were hoping for a while that they would bring this card game back, but they've now moved on to like the next generation of ponies, so it seems very, very unlikely that this same card game is gonna come back. We have our rare is surprise out of nowhere. And we have a foil slick shades. That's a cool looking foil. I mean maybe they'll do a TCG for the next generation of ponies, who knows? Um But I don't know if I'll be is it the interested same, in it. Like art style and stuff? I think it's a little different, and I think it's different characters. I don't really know how the Generations of Ponies works, all I know is that the friendship as Magic Generation is over. Mm -hmm. We got a magical mailbox. Spike. That's uh, Spike. Bolt. Not the dog. <laughs> Social networking. I need to work on uh, picking up some more promos and stuff for this game because I have not actually managed to get many promos. You have a few cool ones though. I do, but I'd rather like try and uh, get a lot of them in one go. It's Silver Speed, Eye in the Sky is our rare. You know, just to try and uh, bring the needs list down a bit. Mm -hmm. It's kind of weird is that the early sets of this game, it's really easy to get everything from the set. Ooh, Crystal Heart, Heart of an Empire. That's a cool looking card, is that right? Oh, yeah. A Chimera is an uncommon. Yeah, so you can get the sets pretty easily because they were really, really widely printed. But there are so many promos associated with those sets and so many variants of promos that all right, camera stopped recording there. I don't know how much it actually caught of that last sentence. I was saying that uh, the early sets are very easy to get because they were very heavily printed. Orthos Go Fetch is our rare. And we have Sweetie Belle Showstopper as a foil. You like that one? Yeah. So the sets are really heavily printed, but there's a ton of promos and variants of promos in each of the early sets. So it's harder to finish those. Whereas with later sets, it's harder to get the cards from the actual set because the sets were quite short printed, but each set has like two or three promos. Oh, come on, focus camera, what are you doing? There we go. We have got Cheese Sandwich Heavy Artillery as our rare. Uh, Cheese Sandwich. And a crystallized Rainbow Dash, and a crystallized Pinkie Pie. Ooh. Those are kind of cool looking. Can I see them? Yeah. 
I'm guessing that all of the six main characters appear crystallized. I might want a set of those. I wonder if those come in foil. I would hope so. That would be those would be really nice foils, I think. Oh yeah, that. So what I maybe end up doing as I uh, get all of my stuff opened, I'll start to work on one set at a time. Uh, inspiration manifestation. Oh, well, it's rarity crystallized. Oh, cool. So yeah, if I go through that set, then. You know, just do one set at a time, get it ticked off. The hardest, of course, would be Premiere being... having all those print runs, but... Yeah. We can work on it. We have to do the same with Pokemon and many, many other card games, too. We have Out of Action. Yeah, I can't say I'm excited about trying to find six different variations of... The same card. The same pony card. And luckily, it seems like a lot of them were in decks or are easy to to get. So okay. we'll see. Oh, we have a crystal guard on duty. Oh. That's halfway through the box. So we've got a uh, four of our foils and two ultra rares in the first half of the box. That's not too bad. So we're hoping for three ultra rares. Uh, I think we're guaranteed three and we're hoping for four. Okay. Fingers crossed, but we did get the awesome secret one, so. We did. Uh, Ms. Harshwinnie, officious official. Harshwinnie. And Lyra, very excitable as our foil. Me so too. we actually couldn't get, uh, we couldn't finish this set from just packs either, because in addition to exclusive foils, there are quite a few exclusive fixed cards to decks. Mm. Still numbered within the set though? Yeah, they just have a, uh, instead of having, you know, the CU or, rare, or R for the common and common rare, they have F for fixed. It's a capital F for fixed and then a small italic F for foil, which you can kind of see on there. So if you, but if you get one of each theme deck, you're gonna get everything apart from two of the main characters, uh, friends forever as our rare, because the deck, each deck of the two comes in two different versions. Because um, so there are two main characters in each, and in one version, one of them is foil and the other is fixed, and then in the other version, it's reversed. Oh, that. So you'd get everything else that was within the set you know, in the middle of it as fixed once you open the set, but you would have to get two versions of the deck or pick those up as singles. You have Spell Off. Do you know who the main characters are for these decks? Uh, I think one of them is Spike. You like Spike? We do. But I, do, I don't know, I've just been looking at lists online when I need to. The uh, Pony Wiki is actually pretty good. The Pony TCG Wiki. There's Coco Pommel Refurbisher, I think, again. It's a crystallized rarity. Mine. Okay. See, it's kind of cool that in this set, the main six all have crystallized versions. In Discord, they all had discorded versions. Yeah. It's kind of nice uh, cycles. I think I've said this in previous videos, but that's one of the things I really like that Magic does sometimes is cycles amongst all of the colors. Uh, we have Daring Do, a professional heroine. Oh, there's Twilight Sparkle crystallized. Um, that's something that Pokemon doesn't really do too often because there's you know so many more colors that it would be hard to give each color kind of a similar effect. Yeah, we see it occasionally with items that do but they're normally spread out across mm -hmm. different sets and stuff, and they don't always end up finishing the cycles. Yeah. We have a Wonderbolt Academy Invitations as our rare. Uh... So I think the way it's going for ponies is the so there are six sets I've opened a decent amount of. There's pre or I've got to open a decent amount of anyway. There's Premier, 
Catlot Knights, Crystal Games, Absolute Discord. Oh, there's the Power of Love as our rare, and Opalescence, Stylish Pet, as our foil. And then um, Equestrian Odysseys, and I think Marks in Time is the other one where I have a few boxes worth to open. The other sets, I'll hopefully be able to pick up either a box worth or just some packs, just so I can try and, you know, open all of the commons and uncommons, because it's easier to do it that way than trying to find people with the commons and uncommons. But we'll see where it goes. Oh, we have our first problem rare. This is cart crafting. I haven't mentioned this yet, but this is still one of the sets where the numbers are upside down or on the top for problems, which I hate. I'm mm. glad they fixed that in later sets. Alright, we have got... <laughs> it's another rare problem. This one is charge. Alright. Time. Oh, and another foil. This is Bonbon bon, side by side. This is that, what, seven foils we're at now? Yep, seven. Yeah. So we should have two more foils coming and at least one ultra rare, potentially two. Now we're getting low on packs. Yeah. But we do have, like, another four boxes. <laughs> Not that we're opening those anytime soon, but we have them. Uh, antiquing is our rare. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. What I'll probably do is once we've opened all of the stuff we have from these sets, we'll do like a binder update video at some point. Okay. I need to do more of those for Pokemon too. Yes, please. Spike, statuesque is our rare. Spike. I think Spike is also one of the two ultra rare main characters in the set. So there is a chance we pull Spike as an ultra rare. Okay. Hey, it's Randolph. Oh. Randolph Pony. Look at Randolph. We've probably passed by a few Randolphs already and I just hadn't noticed. Uh, Pony Charm is our rare in this one. Interesting. Yep. Crystallized Rainbow Dash yet? I think so. I think it wasn't that one of the first ones we got. There's a dragon. You like dragons. I do like dragons. Ooh, so we have Haymaker as our rare and the Element of Honesty as our ultra rare. That is very cool. Weren't there elements in a different set? Yeah, I think there are two ultra rare elements per set across three sets. Okay. And there's our uncommons, which is another nice uh, cycle I did across mm -hmm. the sets. Yeah, if they actually finished it out, that's... Yeah, I'm sure they... I think they did. I think it was, it was just two per set for three sets. Uh, less isn't more, <laughs> apparently. If you say so. Yeah. One more foil? I think so. Hopefully. From this pack and three more. There is another Randolph. Uh, Scootaloo's Scooter. Oh. And there's a foil of Daring Do, professional heroine. Okay. You saw her as a rare before, right? Yeah. So that is foil number five, so that's the first foil that you can actually get within the boosters. Couple more packs left, so we're hoping for one more ultra rare, but we might not get it. Uh, we've got study session as our rare. Uh... Why is that one here so long? No idea. Second to last pack, we have a burst of speed. Oh, we got another foil. Oh, neat. So it's Shining Armor Crystal Prince. So is that... Oh, this was number nine. 
Oh. Okay, so we were... We counted wrong. Well, I was trusting you, but... What? I'm gonna blame you. Really? I know, at some point you said we have one float left and I believed you. So, potential for an ultra rare, but it is unlikely for the last pack. Fingers Let's crossed. go. Fingers crossed, yeah. We have got... A party bomb as our rare. All right, no fourth ultra rare, but we did get, from our three ultra rares, we did get the secret ultra rare. So cool. Princess Twilight Sparkle. Very nice, very cool ultra rares there, and some nice foils we got too. So that was a box of the Crystal Games. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you'll join me again soon for probably more ponies, more Pokemon, more other stuff. More cards. More vlogging. We'll see what happens. Yeah, more cards overall. Well, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. Check out some more videos right here. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content from DJ Gigabyte. Gotta, Gotta catch, catch them all. all. <laughs>